It's just like, because if that woman, who I'm not even in touch with, any Phyllis from, um, oh, yeah. from Pittsburgh, she's the one who called me to tell me about Monique. Yeah. Because she was I like, you, you stay in Decatur, right? And I was like, yeah. She's like, um, um, I'm trying to get food to this woman at the hotel with mm-hmm. her kids. And would you be able to maybe help out? And I was like, sure. So, but I'm not even in touch with her anymore. Like, that was just, it was like she came into my life like that was really the next day. Yeah. That was, yeah. But that was just for that moment. Just yeah. for that moment. Just, just. Wow. It's amazing. The way I'm like, and Geraldine, who I don't know if you've met Geraldine. She was up at the hotel, but she was very quiet. She always just kept in her room. Mm-hmm. She probably didn't. Very to but, herself. Um, the, the way I met her is I was in the office um, talking to Lisa, the manager, uh-huh. one day, and Geraldine comes in. It was a Saturday, so it was like the day you had to pay. Did she work here? No, Geraldine. Oh, okay. But she came in, mm-hmm. and she was counting out her last dollars, mm-hmm. and she like had change with her, and she's like, this is all I have right now because she was between jobs. She didn't. She didn't. She wasn't working because her. You know, mm-hmm. her her situation was she has a, an adult son who's in his thirties who has severe autism. So mm-hmm. she was taking care of him. Her grandkids were staying with her, so she was looking for work. But she comes in with these dollars and she's like, "This is all I have." And Lisa was like, "You know how Lisa? She's like, I'm sorry, baby. Like, uh, mm-hmm. that's not going to be enough for this week." And as she's talking, and I'm just standing there, and I'm thinking, like, okay, I don't even know this woman, but as a journalist, like, I'm not supposed to be pulling out my wallet right now, mm-hmm. and, like, I'm supposed to just be watching this. Right. So, so as we're, we're standing there, and I'm, like, asking God, like, what do I do? This woman comes in, like, pulls up in front of the office. She's probably, like, 20 years old, really young woman, comes into the office, and she's like, do y'all have any open rooms right now? And Lisa's like, I'm sorry, we're, we're all full, but I'll give you my number and you can call, you know, call him next week. She's like, okay, thank you. And as she's walking out, she like turned around this young woman. She looks at Geraldine and she's like, because Geraldine was crying. Mm-hmm. She was just like kind of quietly standing because she thought she was going to get put out. Mm-hmm. She looked at Geraldine and she's like, you okay? And Geraldine's like, oh yeah, I'm fine. I'm sorry. And, the, and she's like, are you sure on your payment or something? And Geraldine's like, yeah, yeah. She's like, how much you owe? And Geraldine, she was like $40 or something. And then when she's pulled out like a $50 bill or something, and she's like, here. And then she went out and left. And that was, and Geraldine just started sobbing. And she was like, oh my gosh. Like, I know that what you're feeling. And, and that's how I met Geraldine. And as she, so she Jesus. was just like crying. <laughs> and as she's walking out, I was like, excuse me, can I just ask, like, how are you feeling right now? Like, what do you make of what just happened? Mm-hmm. And she's like, She's like, I had just prayed this morning, like, God, make a way somehow, like, either, mm-hmm. like, let them have, take grace on me, like, let me pay tomorrow, like, some, I need Something. grace, I need a, I need a miracle. Mm-hmm. And, and look at God. Yeah. And, and just sent the woman in there, they were full, and it basically began to be about the blessing. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, I mean, it's just, like, 